let's talk about the second normal form. The second normal form requires that we comply with the first normal form, meaning that it's a superset of the first normal form, with an additional qualification that each column depends on the entire primary key. The primary key can be made up of one or more attributes of the table, and these are called prime attributes. Let's take a look at an example. In order to comply with the second normal form, we first need to make sure that our table complies with the first normal form. In this example, we're describing a person and their hobbies, and as we can see, we have three columns labeled Hobby 1, Hobby 2, and Hobby 3. However, the first normal form tells us that we can't have the same attribute in multiple columns. All three hobbies are still one attribute. They describe a hobby of the person, Bob, for example. In this table, the key or primary key of our table is made up of both Bob's name and his date of birth. This is called a composite key, or a set of name and date of birth always describe Bob. Let's see how we can comply with the first normal form in order to comply with the second normal form as well. Proper first normal form requires us to split up this data across two tables, namely a person table, which describes the person's name and date of birth, and a hobby table, which describes the hobby that corresponds to our person. In this case, we're complying with the first normal form. Consequently, we're also complying with the second normal form, because, as you can see, the hobby, which is the non-prime attribute on our table, depends entirely on the primary key, or prime attribute, of our table, namely Bob and his date of birth. So, in the case of finding the fishing hobby, we depend entirely on both Bob and his date of birth. The same works for all the other records in our table. And that's it, really. At this point, you've complied with the first and second normal form.